is my Louette S45, which is currently being talked about a lot on the Louette Lovers Ravelry group, so I thought I'd make a little video so people could see kind of how it worked. Um, this is an accelerated wheel, so it's a little bit different than most spinning wheels. If we look at the back, it has two sets of flywheels in the back. Um, each one has three grooves, and this works kind of like a bicycle gearing. Um, the biggest groove on this top wheel and the smallest groove on the bottom give you the highest ratio. And then the bottom wheel connects to the big wheel on the front, which is what actually turns the flyer. Uh, the, the flyer on this wheel is pretty cool. The whole setup is... Um, Unscrew this. And the bobbin has a really big hole through the middle and it sits on these sealed bearings. So there's really nothing that needs lubrication on this wheel. And the flyer has a delta orifice. See if I get this back together. Okay, I got the flyer back on. Um, like the other Louette wheels, this does not have a true double treadle. It has the rocker connecting the two treadles. Um, it's not super great to use as a single treadle, but I prefer a single treadle and I often just use my right foot to treadle it with. Oh, get this drive band back out of the way. The bobbin holder also works as a lazy Kate if you find the end. This isn't the greatest yarn I was letting someone try out my wheel and it's a little overspun. And you can come over here and thread it. It's easier to do with two hands. through there and you can apply that way. I usually um, wind my singles off and apply them from another wheel. Another wheel and a lazy key uh, I like to apply off of. Okay, I'm going to try and spin. I don't have a tripod so I don't know if this will work. Um, The yarn goes uh, through the guide on the arm, which slides back and forth. There's only a guide on one side, and through this little notch on the flyer, and out through the delta orifice. Um, the only thing that really restricts. 